Madorky Daddies. They keep doing it. DaVinci Resolve 20.2 dropped, and there are two key features that I am absolutely psyched on. And again, this is just a 0.2 version release. And there's two huge features I'm pumped on. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. These guys, black magic. You're crazy. Um, the two big features that I'm psyched on. Number one, ripple delete silence. Number two, ripple edits always in sync. Let's start with the ripple delete silence. So again, you could do this in DaVinci Resolve. If you went up here to the clip and you hit the transcribe button, which is this little talk. Oh, I'm not screen recording. Clap sync. That was almost a disaster. I would have been so sad. Now again, make no mistake. You could do this before. You could go up here to the clip and click this little chat transcribe button, transcribe the click, the clip, sorry, and then remove the silences. It worked really well. It was honestly not that bad of a user experience, but now it's even better and there's more features and it's all on the edit page. It's beautiful. Go to your clip. So I've got this clip of me from a previous video. Go up to clip up top, audio auditions. <laughs> Audio operations, ripple, delete, silence. And man, did you see how fast that was? It is snappy. All these little red boxes are your silent portions. You can change the threshold here in terms of how much you want that silence to be registered. You've got the pre-head, the post-tail, basically how much at the beginning are you giving it, how much at the end of each cut are you giving it. Minimum to strip, you've got a ability to adjust that. You can cross-fade the audio. So let's zoom in here and I wanna show you guys what we're doing. Let's have the post be nice and tight. The head, I want the head to be zero. And then the threshold, let's bump that up to right there. That looks like it's getting mostly what I want. And let's click remove. Everything gets ripple deleted. This feature is sick, it's fast. There's the ability to tweak and make it like exactly how you want it. Like I said at the beginning, Blackmagic design just keeps absolutely crushing it. And if you are curious about that second feature I was talking about at the beginning of this video, subscribe. It's in the next one.